Hello friends, today we will see store procedures in SQL. First, we will understand what are the store procedures. So, the store procedures are nothing but a group of one or more statements into a logical units which perform some specific task. The store procedures may have and may not have parameters. Store procedures are stored as a named object in an SQL server. So, what are the benefits of the store procedures? It is reusable. That means it can be executed by multiple users or clients and its performance is very high. Which means when you call the store procedure for the first time, SQL Server creates an execution plan and store, stores it in the cache. In the subsequent execution of the store procedure, SQL Server reuses the plan to execute the store procedure very fast with reliable performance. Or you can say that store procedures can easily be modified, which means we can easily modify the code inside the store procedure without the, without any restart or redeploying of the application. So now let's begin. Now go to your SQL Server Management Studio and go to Programmability and then Store Procedures. So here you can see few store procedures are already there. These are system defined store procedures. So now we have to create our custom store procedure. So go to store procedures, right click, create, click on new and then store procedure. So it will give you, so the SQL server will create a skeleton for you. So here you can see that create a store procedure. Here give your store procedure name. So what we will do, so we will use our percent table to get the data from that particular table. So now we will create the store procedure, we will give a name as get person data and for now we will remove all these parameters and here we will write our Select statement first name, last name, age from date of birth, persons, okay, persons. So we'll select all this and we'll click on execute. So this saves your store procedure in SQL Server. So now refresh this and here you can see your store procedure. Now how do we execute this? So for this we will use a command exec which means execute and your store procedure name. Now here you can see you will get all the results. Uh, so this way we can create the simple store procedure. Now we will see store procedures with multiple parameters. So to do that, what we will do? So we'll simply modify the same store procedure. So right click on the store procedure, modify. And here you'll see the alter store procedure. Now here what we will do, we'll give parameters. So what are the parameters we will need? So let's say we want to fetch. So let's consider a scenario where we want to fetch the record of a person whose last name is Singh and whose age is 30. So for that, what we'll do, we'll give parameter as at last name and which is a varchar in database and we have to give number of characters we will use so let's say 10 age which is integer now here we'll simply write a where statement here and last name sorry where last name goes to Now what we will do, we will simply select the statements and then execute. Sorry, so here also we have to give at. 
because we have to give parameter like this now we'll select all and then we'll click on execute now here we can see our store procedure is modified very easily without any deployment and without any uh, restart of the server now we'll execute this with the same command now we have to give name so we have to give the last name so same on select this and execute so here we got the result so this way we can modify the store procedure so i hope you understand store procedures by now if you have any queries then do let me know in the comment section and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you